Hello everybody, hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Today we start up with chapter 12, lesson 2, sound. Hopefully you have your books with you, uh, with pen and pencil to take notes. We will see a video now and uh, I want you to figure out what is happening there in that video. So, why do you think this uh, piece of crackers are moving when you hit with a spoon to this metal dish? Pause the video and please think why can be this. So, actually, when uh, an object makes sound, it vibrates uh, back and forth, it moves back and forth. Now these vibrations, for example, uh, when that uh, spoon uh, hits the metal dish, it creates a vibration or it squeezes the air particles and then spreads them out. Now this uh, creates region of air that have many particles. We call it compressions. Normally sound is made by when you, when you hit something and it backs, uh, moves back and forth that is called vibration and when these particles are squeezed the air particles and others they spread out now this creates regions of air that have many particles called compressions uh, and regions of air that have less particles are called refraction so you see more particles the more particles here they are known as compressions the regions where They'll, there's a lot of uh, uh, many uh, particles or the region of air. On the other hand, if you see refraction, this is the uh, region where the particles are less. Now, these compressions and refractions actually move the air, carrying the sound energy. Now, each region of the air is only moved back and forth. It is moved back and forth. And because that energy is created, it goes on. When you hit that uh, metal dish with the spoon, this energy is created and goes on. And you see those crackers actually moving because of that sound energy which is created. So basically sound wave, it's a series of trans uh, refractions and compressions as we learned over here. A series of compression and refraction, refractions okay traveling through a substance is called a sound wave now the substance through which uh, the wave travels is called the medium uh, a medium can be anything through which sound travels it can be a solid it can be a liquid uh, it can be gas now sound waves uh, vibrate the medium in the same direction and they, that the energy moves uh, they are called longitudinal waves as you can see here we can also represent sound waves as a series of uh, peaks and dips you can see here the peaks and then the dips this is how the energy or the moves in a sound wave with the peaks and dips now the dips um, the peaks as you can see here they show the high density of uh, air in compressions while the dip they actually slow you can see here a lot of uh, energy is there in the um, peaks well if you come to the dip you see here that they the energy is showing low density of air it's showing less energy there in the rare fractions now remember that air does not move up and, and down like the particle like the peaks and dips this is not what the air is moving actually the waves are so when sound waves actually hit an object the object uh, starts vibrating as you saw that uh, crackers in the video they were vibrating the object is moved by the energy of the wave so that wave the sound wave which was being created by that uh, spoon when it hit the metal dish uh, or it banged on that metal dish uh, the energy that was created actually disturbed or moved the crackers so now come to how does sound travel 
sound uh, as we said that it travels through a medium and this medium can be a liquid solid liquid or gas now, in fact sound uh, tends to travel with the greatest speed in solids and the slowest speed in gases can you think of that why it happens so now this is again we come to the game of particles remember solids the particles are quietly packed together right liquid on the other hand you see there's some slight uh, space between them and the gas there is a lot of gap in them so sound waves travel fastest through solids because of the particles in a solid they're actually closer than in a gas or a liquid this means vibrations are more easily passed from particles to particle uh, so the sound can travel faster in solids now uh, the temperature of the medium also affects the spread of a sound for example in a warm air particles move faster right and as a result they collide more often and transmit sound faster now can you think of sound traveling traveling in an area without any particles of course no why because sound cannot travel without uh, a medium sound needs a medium needs this solid liquid gas needs particles to pass but if it's vacuum it's empty nothing sound will not move for example outer space has few particles so there's no medium for sound to travel through so in space because it's a vacuum it's empty there are no particles very less particles there it's a region that contain few or no particles at all therefore sound cannot travel in those places in vacuum places in uh, space such as an example uh, have you been uh, in a soundproof room you see the soundproof room uh, actually has walls that are often covered with a soft thick uneven material so when a sound wave hits the material the energy of the wave is absorbed so absorption uh, is the transfer of energy when a wave disappears into a surface it disappears into a surface and in the result this absorbed sound wave becomes a thermal energy on that surface it becomes thermal energy thermal energy remember is the heat energy but uh, on the other hand the opposite thing happens if a sound wave hits a flat firm surface if it's a firm surface flat what happens you uh, hear an echo you all have go uh, you all have experienced that right echoes are sound waves that actually have reflected back at the speaker so reflection is the bouncing of wave uh, of a surface so whenever a sound wave reflects off a surface some of its uh, is absorbed uh, that's why some places the echoes are never as loud as the original sound waves some of them really reflect back but some of them are absorbed that was the lesson for today hopefully it helped uh, if there is any question please feel free to ask and uh, thank you